Hey guys, it's Fanny Phoenix here, back with part 2 of how I made my Master Sword. If you haven't watched part 1, I will leave a link to it in the description below. So here I'm adding the raised gold details at the base of the blade using air dry clay. I'm painting the whole sword black here to help see other places I may need to sand or add clay to make it even, but I'm also doing this for a better base color when I start painting later on. For the pommel of the sword, I cut out a small circle of foam board for the base and began sculpting around that. What you'll see here wasn't the finished product as I wasn't happy with it and restarted it entirely, just making it slightly smaller than you'll see here. Now for the engraved details on the blade. I began with sketching the Triforce on with a pen and began carving with my X-Acto blade to give it an engraved look.
For the diamonds on the handguard, I made a mock-up out of paper and then used that to make a mold with polymer clay. I fixed up the mold and baked it according to the instructions for my polymer clay. Once baked, I dusted it with cornstarch to help demolding and used more polymer clay to make the diamonds. I used this flesh tone colored clay, but it really doesn't matter what color it is since it's going to be painted black anyways. I made two of those, baked them, and then once they were baked, I glued them onto my sword. Now for the wrap details on the grip. This is a tad hard to explain, but basically I started with some cord at the top and started to coil down the grip, and then once that line was done, I started another line to the opposite side of the last one, coiling that down in the opposite direction. I made sure to glue the cord where all the intersections met to make sure it was secure. Once those two were done, I flipped it to the other side and repeated the same process. And the result will be this nice diamond shaped pattern which you will see when I finish these two. Once all of that was done, it was time to prime and paint. For priming, I did a couple coats of Plastidip. Once primed, I began to paint. I'm using gold and silver rub and buff for the gold details and blade, but normal paint will work just as well and I'm using regular acrylic paint for the rest.
for the handguard, I'm using a mixture of true blue, red, and black to get this nice muted blue color. Here I'm painting over the gold details on the blade with black again, since I went over them with silver while covering the whole blade. I'm now making those swirly gold details on the handguard by painting them on with black and then going over them with my gold. Now, I did somehow lose the footage of me weathering this prop, but basically I used watered down black paint in all the nooks and crannies and on the blade to make it look more worn in and realistic. I did concentrate on the blade, however, to make it look less shiny and brand new and more used. So that was part 2 on how I made my master sword. I hope this video was helpful and if you like my content, like this video and consider subscribing to my channel, as well as follow me on all my social media which is linked down below. And I will see you guys in the next video.